Good morning. It's almost five o'clock and I am about to leave to drive to Temecula, California for CDS Championships, which is California Dressage Society. So I'm gonna head out and I'm gonna stop at Starbucks. Like it's right outside of Las Vegas. So like it's like 45 minutes and when it's lighter, we'll talk a little bit more because this just isn't pleasant. Look how pretty the sunrise is. It's so pretty. So um, I'm headed back to California. I was just in California like less than two weeks ago for a jumping show, which was a disaster. But I am now headed back for a dressage show. It's like junior amateur championships for CDS, which is the California Dressage Society, which for some reason Las Vegas is also a chapter of the California Dressage Society. So basically I qualified and even though I'm a professional, as far as like USDF goes, you're still considered like a young rider until you're over 21. So technically I'm still a young rider and like I emailed them and everything and was like, hey, just making sure this is correct and they said I'm totally fine to compete in the young rider championships even though I'm a professional. So I don't really understand how that works, but it does somehow. We're doing first level test three on Friday and then second level test one on Saturday and then Sunday we have first level test three championships so it's like that's our championship class. So basically I was, today is Thursday, I was supposed to leave yesterday and the horses all left yesterday but on Tuesday morning I woke up with a terrible migraine and a fever and my low back hurt. So basically, long story short, my life has been a series of unfortunate events lately, and the most recent one is that I got a UTI, and it developed into a kidney infection. So on Tuesday morning, I woke up and my body was like, girl, please help. And so I didn't leave yesterday. I'm on antibiotics and like I'm feeling better but yeah that is how my life has been going lately if you've never had a UTI you're very lucky if you've never had a kidney infection you're incredibly lucky let me tell you terrible some of the worst pain I've ever felt in my whole life and I've had my head cracked open twice I've had two concussions I've had my wisdom teeth removed and that sucked nothing compares to the pain that I felt in my low back. It was like period cramps times 100 and in your stomach and your low back. It was awful. And you know, if I were advising somebody else, one of my students that I teach and they said that they had this happening two days before the show, I would say don't go to the show, but I do as I say, not as I do basically. Don't, don't do this, but I'm gonna do it. I also already paid $750 in entry fees for this show, so I will be going. Mm, this is the most boring drive ever on the whole planet, ever. It's just like desert, and you, there's nothing to see, and it's two lanes the whole way, and there's a bunch of trucks, and you have to like go around them, but then I feel bad for going around them, because it's not their fault that they're slow, but like, come on, and I 
went back to my house and showered and now I'm at Target because I need to get like food and stuff. Um, I do not feel good. I got off, um, I did like a schooling ride and I got off and I felt terrible. So I hosed pasta off really fast and then left. So I have to go back later and I have to give him a little lunch because he was a little crazy. It's a little wild. And then I have to give him a bath. But I'm just gonna like get food, eat, drink a lot of water, and then go back later because I'm not feeling great. We just got back to the horse park. I'm with Sophie, but Sophie doesn't want to be in the vlog. She says she doesn't feel her best. So I'm gonna give Pasta a bath and a quick lunch because he was a little wild earlier. And then I'm gonna go back to the house and go back to sleep. Wow. got to the horse park we're about to leave the car and socialize not fun so wish us luck I have to work a little bit and then we both ride at like two in the heat of the day <laughs> we're so lucky so Woo I still have a headache hey. and I have acne do you have acne treatment stuff like spot treatment I didn't bring any no. This one hurts. I just use moisturizer and then pray. <laughs> I figured I would do a voiceover instead of just putting music over it. The halt was a little rough just because he threw his head down, but he was pretty square for him. He does do this awkward thing where he puts his back legs close together. Don't know why the man does that, but for him, pretty square. He's not good at halting. My reins were consistently too long throughout this test, so that's a little unfortunate. We had our lengthening of stride across the diagonal. I could have gone a little bit less conservative on this, which I did on the second one. I just wanted to test out how he would be because he was spicy about them yesterday. And then we have a leg yield off of the rail here. This one is very hard for him. This is definitely his worst direction. So I kind of just slowly asked him for it I'd rather it be smooth and take longer than have him like toss his head about it they're definitely getting better but he just sometimes gets stuck in them so we're working through that and then my reins got even longer which is so frustrating now I know why my trainer is always angry at me about that and then I don't really remember what we're doing here oh we have a stretchy trot circle in the middle which he is good at. I wish he would poke his nose out more, but that's also getting better. But he does love a stretchy trot. Ooh, look at that corner. You go, girl. And then this transition was a little rough. He gets a little sticky picking up the right lead sometimes. So I'll be more prepared for that for the rest of the weekend. And then we have a one loop serpentine where he has a little lead change, <laughs> which was my bad. I didn't feel him moving back over to the rail. So I put a little spur on and he took that as I wanted a lead change, which is totally understandable on his part. And then a 15 meter circle, which I'm terrible at. 
I'm awful at 15 meter circles. Give me a 10 meter circle all day. And a lengthening of stride, which again, I was a little conservative about because he was spicy about it yesterday and I didn't want to get bucked off, but tomorrow I'll go for it a little bit more because I know that he'll be okay. And then across the diagonal, trotting over X, which he was quite lovely about. Sometimes in that downward transition, I'll throw his head up so he doesn't have to use himself correctly, but that one was very lovely. That was not, but that was me. I got handsy about that downward transition, and I know better. He doesn't need that. And then we have like a free walk one loop serpentine, which was nice. I find this movement really hard to get an actual free walk in because you're also trying to like bend them around the serpentine, but he does good. My boots also weren't fully zipped up. I didn't fully zip them up when I put them on and then I totally forgot about it. So that's a little embarrassing. And then he got fussy here. And then he thought we were going to canter. And I said, no, sir, we are not cantering. We have another leg yield. This one is way better, like so much better. But sometimes he's like, oh, I don't want to do it. And I'm like, no, but you're like you're doing it. See, but then my reins got very long and my hands got up too high and he got curly in his neck, which is not my favorite he like drops behind the contact a little bit. And then this trot lengthening was definitely better than my first one. This is literally the longest test on the planet. And then he anticipated the canner transition, but then we had a nice transition, so we'll take it. And then right into that loop, I could use that corner better. And this time I kept a little extra inside bend because I didn't want him to change again, which he didn't. And a 15 meter circle. It was decent. I feel like that was probably one of the better 15 meter circles I've ever done in my life. And then a lengthening. I went for a little bit more again but I also need to work on like him dropping below the contact in that because he does like to do that and then he got like fussy and wanted to break and I was like sir please we're almost done and I felt him wanting to change so I broke a little bit early and then he was like why are we cantering again and I was like sir please we're almost done And that was a decent trot transition, like not my favorite, but like it was fine. When he gets tired, his thing is he'll like get heavy and low and get below the contact. So we're working on that, which is what you see here. And then he gets a little fussy into this halt. I think he just got like distracted by the judge a little bit. But then the halt is actually quite nice. So I just got back in my car. I showed like an hour ago, maybe two hours. I don't really know. I have no concept of time right now. It's so hot. This is sweat seeping through my head. It's so hot and so humid. Uh, but I, I survived. As soon as I put my helmet on, my headache went away completely. It was the weirdest thing. I'm so happy with pasta. Our test was not perfect. There were mistakes. We got a 61, which is definitely not our best score ever, but he was relaxed and rideable and happy to be there, which is all I really want for him right now. After our jumping show last week or the week before, he got so stressed out there and I just want him to feel comfortable going off property and he was so comfortable and happy and easy to ride not easy to ride but just like 
rideable. So I'm very happy and it was a very positive experience in the arena for him and I'm just, I'm very happy. I am gonna go get food and then come back and walk him and I'll talk to you guys a little bit more later because my phone is gonna overheat. Hello, I'm back at the house. I am going to probably just like call my boyfriend and then go to sleep. So I'm gonna sign off for today. Toodles. Sorry, I won't say that again. I am gonna post this part and then do a second part for the next two days because I feel like this one's already long enough, like it's like 17 minutes. So I'm gonna just like separate them. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for part two. I love you all. Wow, wow, wow.